Now to other stories. Emanuela Mayaki has gained media attention with her coding skills. These skills got her a teaching job at an after-school club in England. But she's not stopping there. The tech genius has plans to become a machine learning engineer. In 2018, nine-year-old Emanuela Mayaki caught the attention of the public when she built a mobile app and website to teach ICT skills for free. I started using computers at the age of six. I was really interested in coding and like I was fascinated about the way you could create a lot of things using using just minor code and like computer language. So that's when I knew that coding was for me. At the age of 10, Emanuela relocated to the UK where her skills earned her a job at an after-school club. There she taught kids her age how to code. My dad and I um, found a place where I could learn Python and Java. After the Fontech experience, I went back to school. A teacher found out about my coding skill and um, they wanted me to teach a group of 10 of my classmates about coding and we made pro fast progress. Now at 11 years, the ICT prodigy has improved her coding skills, aiming closer to her target to become a professional web designer and computer programmer. I'm working on building a website using Python. I want to, um, I want to work on using artificial intelligence using Python and Java. And I'm also, I also want to create another website which is enriching my skills. Emanuela considers herself a privileged child, but she hopes the government can do more to enable children without such benefits like hers to learn computer skills. Um, I want to say that the government should um, put um, infrastructures in place so that children and people would be able to improve in technology. And I think that if we're able to do this as as um, a country and if Africa is able to do this, Africa will be the next biggest tech giant in the whole world and we would be sure to um, make, make, name in, to make a name in the whole world. Emanuela's journey started in Edo and Lagos states in Nigeria, then to the UK. Now back in Nigeria, she's committing herself to acquiring more tech skills as she hopes to train more young people in future. Young, bright and resilient. Well done, Manuela.